Welcome back to WWE 2K22, My Rise with X23. And today we have Josie Jane waiting for us in the bar. Is it an offer of friendship? Probably not, but we're going to have a look and see what she seems to want to tell us. Ugh, I knew it was impossible to avoid you much longer. Nice to see you too, Josie. How have you been? Let's dispense with the pleasantries, okay? Thankfully, so far, we've been able to stay out of each other's way, for the most part. But as we both climb the ranks of SmackDown, that's not going to be an option anymore. And there's only room for one of us at the top. Agreed. And I have to admit, it's pretty cool that we're going to be able to continue our rivalry from the PC here on SmackDown. I came to compete against the best. And more and more, that's looking like it might be you. <laughs> might be? Is. And if you need proof, I'm happy to get in the ring with you anytime. Why wait? Let's go. I look forward to seeing what skills you've picked up since the PC. And showing you a few new ones of my own. Well, looks like I picked the right week to visit SmackDown. I hear you and Josie are getting in the ring. Yep, should be fun. Let me offer you some advice and you can do what you like with it. I know a lot about deep-rooted feuds and squaring off versus someone from Calgary. There are a lot of ways to win, but the choices you make will determine the kind of superstar fans see you as. Makes sense. So the question is, do you take Josie out in the ring, or do you get her before she even makes it there? I can take her in the ring, and I'm not going to give her any additional reason to complain about the results. Probably smart. Now you've just got to make sure you win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Canada, X. This superstar credits her time on the Indies as a major factor in her success in WWE. Indie experience aside, it didn't hurt to have Booker T, Shawn Michaels, and Beth Phoenix's help along the way. It's the up-and-coming Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Josie Jane. Josie Jane, believe it or not, is yet another one of Riley Flash's graduates from his wrestling academy in Calgary. That's too bad. I was actually starting to like her. You can see how much every fight means to Josie. Josie Jane, your opponent, are both bringing a lot of history to the ring. So it is Josie Jane versus Laura Kinney, one on one. And it's Laura Kinney against her ex sparring partner. They had a few matches at the Performance Center, and I'm pretty sure Laura Kinney came out on top of the majority, if not all. But Laura Kinney, point of proof to show Josie Jane that we are still better than her. I'm pretty sure when we moved to Raw, Josie Jane was taking the Mickey out of doing so. But Laura Kinney has gone up grown up a lot since then she's come a long way in her career going for the pin early it's one it's two kick out there by Josie Jane but yes Laura Kinney has come on a long way in her career we've had some notable wins the Bailey to the Intercontinental title and what has Josie Jane really achieved not very much so this is time for Laura Kinney to prove she was the best person to come out of the actual performance center 
of that year. If that makes sense. Uh, but Laura Kinney on the attack, doing well so far, making sure that Josie Jane doesn't get any momentum going into the ring post there as well. It's going to do some damage. I thought it was a Russian leg sweep, but no, going for the face plant instead. And Josie Jane Josie seems to be in a bit of trouble. She can't seem to cope with the offence that um, Laura Kinney is providing here. Nice kick to the back as she slams her down there. Josie Jane just seems to have no answer at the minute for Laura Kinney. Into the side as well. But dodging the attack there. Is this a time for Josie Jane to make a comeback? No, she's going straight for the ring. Boy, the count's out. And kicks and, and slaps by Laura Kinney straight away. Josie Jane in the corner. And a reversal there by Josie Jane. This may be her time to make a comeback. And she is. She is pounding on Laura Kinney now. Nice duck out of the way though. And Laura Kinney fighting back against Josie Jane. Josie Jane really needs to put something into this match. Otherwise, she's not going to get anywhere the way it's going. Nice kick to the back there by Laura Kinney. For some reason, she didn't want to run into the ring post. Not sure why. Laura Kinney now working on the legs of Josie Jane. Making sure that she takes the base out. When she takes the base out, it means Josie Jane will not be able to get up. Laura Kinney, Josie Jane in the corner. We know what she's going for here. It's going to be frenzy by Laura Kinney. Josie Jane doesn't seem to have an answer so far. And it looks like Laura Kinney is ready to finish this. It's going to be rage trigger by Laura Kinney. And going for the pin. It is one. It is two. It is three. Laura Kinney proving a point. That she is the best thing to come from the performance center. Josie Jane not really having much enough off of an offense there. Laura Kinney, fantastic win. And a brilliant start to the episode. But is it over? Well, not quite. And you're about to see why. Laura Kinney celebrating with the fans. Happy with the result. Happy to prove that she is where she deserves to be. Now, on her social feed, there's a little bit of an argument going on. I say argument. Booker T and John Cena decide to uh, make a suggestion as they're talking about their best two or three series they had. And it seems Adam Pearce seems to be taking up the offer and thinking that's a good idea for SmackDown. Let's see what Josie Jane has to tell us. I hope you're not spending too much time celebrating or reading your mentions on social media. I'm not. In this sport, it's all about the next match. That next match is going to be the same as your last, but with a different result. I just talked to Adam Pierce, and we're doing a best of three series. Nice of him to let me know. I'm letting you know now. And I'll let you know that I'm going to beat you twice to prove who's ready to take their career to the next level. Unless you can't handle that kind of pressure. I'm happy to give you another chance. Because I know I can handle the pressure. And I know I can beat you again. It's only going to help my case as I work towards being SmackDown Women's Champion. We'll see. So here we are again for match two of the three that has just been decided. Laura Kinney, Josie Jane, take two. Laura Kinney already got one win. If she wins this one, it's over. It's done. Josie Jane is out of here. But if you look at the top left corner, we know there's an issue. Something's going to happen here, but what is it going to be? Laura Kinney can't worry about that. She's just got to focus on what's in front of her and taking out Josie Jane again. Well, near enough, absolutely flawless in the first match. Laura Kinney is on a roll. We want to keep that momentum going as much as possible. If we can do the exact same we did in the first match, Laura Kinney should win this series pretty quickly. Throwing into the turnbuckle now. Nice elbow, nice enziguri in the corner. Josie Jane is again struggling for any sort of offense here. Laura Kinney elbow from the top. Not sure how much that actually hit and how much it hurt her. Didn't seem to hit properly. But aiming for the legs again, taking up the base of Josie Jane. Josie Jane in the performance center was quite a tough person to face. But since we come to SmackDown, she's not really showing that same potential, shall we say. But Laura Kinney now taking it to Josie Jane. Josie Jane really struggling here. 
It's either that or Laura Kinney is just showing how good she really is. Going for the hands now. And Josie Jane wriggling in pain there. Laura Kinney, I wouldn't say delighted in the amount of pain she's causing, but I must admit she must be happy with her performance as she celebrates with the fans. And going for the swan song, misses. And Josie Jane now has a chance to get some offense for her own going now. She takes Laura Kinney down with the punch. Laura Kinney needs to fight back. What is this she's going for? That's going to hurt. That's not going to do your legs any good. Josie Jane really trying to put some momentum in. But Laura Kinney very quick to reverse. Can she bring the momentum back to her side? Top rope, as we know Laura Kinney is comfortable with taking Josie Jane down once more. And Laura Kinney picking her back up. Ready to try and finish this by the looks of things. Nice takedown with a nice kick at the end of it. And let's see. We need to make a strike. And oh, what's going on here? Josie Jane reverses. Looks like Josie's got the upper hand now, trying to do everything she can. Josie Jane really taking it to Laura Kinney. Laura Kinney, though, arm bar's in. Arm bar is locked in by Laura Kinney. It's got to be it. Still got her locked in. Still got it locked in. Wait, what's the referee doing? She's tapped. We won. What? I think the referee's carried a pin against us. But Josie Jane tapped. Josie Jane tapped out. Sometimes Cole, the referee called what he saw. Was it correct? Not really. That is not the way you wanted that to end. If that finish seems familiar, SummerSlam just gone. Remember, finish just like that happening in a female match as well. Laura Kinney not happy with that decision. Doesn't feel that is right. And let's go and speak to Adam Pearce and let's tell him what we think of it. Extending this rivalry was absolute genius. Whose idea was that again? That's right, mine. Technically, it was Booker T and John Cena's idea, but sure, way to go. You know, it wouldn't hurt to compliment your boss every now and then. Might earn you some bonus points. Why are we not talking about the fact that she didn't even win? The way that match ended was ridiculous. I won the series 2-0. Josie tapped. End of story. Except it's not. It was a close finish, but you were pinned. So there will be a third match. But since you don't feel like you got a fair shake, I'll make this final match two out of three falls. You can call it a third match. You can call it a best out of five series overall. You can call it whatever you want, but it's happening. Brilliant idea, Adam. How was that? Shut up, Josie. So here we are then, the third match in the best of three series. Not happy with the result of the second match, but we know what we've got to do. This is a best of three falls match. Laura Kinney, Josie Jane, one last time. Winner takes all. Laura Kinney may not have been happy with the way the second match went. We do feel a bit cheated there, as Josie Jane obviously taps out, but the referee counted a pin on us instead, somehow missing the tap out. But it doesn't matter. This is the match that matters. We just need to make sure we win this. And Laura Kinney carries on her role and does prove that she is the best thing from the performance centre in a very long time. I mean, I say mean person, not thing. Um, missing with the drop kick there, Josie Jane's got a little bit of offence going at the start of this. Laura Kinney taking a little bit of time to grow into the match. It seems to be getting there now. Off rope from Laura Kinney taking her down. That was a lovely move from Laura Kinney from the top rope. Josie Jane looking in a bit of trouble here. Into the ropes we go. And missing with the drop kick. I don't know if she avoided it or just blocked it. And now Josie Jane has a chance to take out the base of Laura Kinney. And that's what Laura Kinney relies on is her base, her legs, her speed. Josie Jane takes it out. Laura Kinney could be in trouble. But Laura Kinney now. Nice combination against Josie Jane. Josie Jane again getting a little bit of offense in, but then struggling to keep the momentum on her side. And at the minute, Laura Kinney is definitely in control. Nice drop kick there as well. Going back to the top rope, we know Laura Kinney's comfortable here. And going for the stomp from the top. That is going to do a lot of damage there. Swanton as well. And Laura Kinney going for the quick pin. Can we get the first fall already? It's one. It's two. No, it's not two. She kicks out just before two. Not quite the first fall now for Laura Kinney. She knows what she needs to do. 
He just needs to make sure we get the momentum on our side, gain the first ball, and we know the job is done. Crescent scythe out of nowhere by Laura Kinney there, going for the pin. It is one, it is two, it is no. Josie Jane kicking out, about two and a half there. Crescent scythe nearly to finish the job for us. Laura Kinney going to the outside, just to G up the fans a little bit, bring them into this match, get the fans going. Back into the ring now. Josie Jane down again. That's Laura Kinney got plans here. Thought she was going to go for something there, but not really. Picking Josie Jane back up. Missing with the drop kick. The Crescent Scythe should have really put Josie Jane away, but it's it's not seen to have done it. If anything, it's spurred her on. And she's got a nice sequence going here. In control of Laura Kinney. Josie Jane really trying to push herself back into this match. It's still nil-nil on best of three falls, so Josie Jane is still in this with a very good chance if she can keep the momentum on her side. Laura Kinney needs to get out of this. And nice, nice dodge there. And a nice drop kick again by Laura Kinney. What's she looking for here? Grabbing hold of her again. Into the ropes. Can we get anything? Kind of a weird move that. You kind of jump off. She kicked her. She caught the move nicely, but then it jumps you off. And I don't know. It's a weird one, that one. Back to the top rope, though. Laura Kinney to the outside. A stomp on Josie Jane on the outside. Josie Jane must be reeling in pain right now. But she's still in this. No one's got a fall yet, so it's still even. Back against the ropes now for Josie Jane. And what's this we're going to see from Laura Kinney? We've seen this a couple of times. Not, she doesn't use this move often, but nice. Taking her down on the side of the apron there. Really trying to jam damage Josie Jane and make sure Josie Jane can't come back into this match. I think that's the important thing, is not giving her an opportunity to make any sort of momentum on her side. Laura Kinney, they're heading for the corner. This is going to be Mirage Faint. Can she hit this? Could this be the first ball? Mirage Faint by Laura Kinney. It hits, it takes Josie Jane down. Going for the pin. It is one, it is two, it is three. Laura Kinney gains the first ball of the best of three series. She is in control of this match. Into the corner she goes. And we've seen this as well. It's going to be Frenzy by Laura Kinney here. Against Josie Jane. Into the corner. This could be over. This could be 2-0. Rage Trigger coming next from Laura Kinney. But no. A massive reversal there by Josie Jane. Keeps her in the match. Wasn't expecting that. Out of nowhere the Rage Trigger was countered. But nice reversal. Laura Kinney now. As she knows she's up. We've just got to keep this on our side. Going for the pin here. It's one. It's two. And it's three. Laura Kinney has won two out of three falls with a score of 2-0. And we have won the best of three series 2-1 against Josie Jane. A nice performance there. I wasn't as dominant as we would have liked. There were moments when I thought Josie Jane was going to really get back at us. And a nice reversal for the rage trigger. A new, that's definitely something we've not seen so far. So very nice of Josie Jane. Brilliant matchup. Brilliant best of three series. And Josie Jane is waiting for us in the locker room. Listen, I don't know when we might meet in the ring again, but it's clear that neither you or I are going anywhere. I know I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's also clear that this rivalry isn't going away either. You're going to get some wins, I'm going to get some wins. I don't see any of that changing. But the one thing that has changed is that after that series, I certainly have gained a lot of respect for you and your abilities. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. We might have had our differences, but I want you to know I've got your back. No matter what. And I hope when push comes to shove, if I ever need it, you'll have mine too. I will. Good luck out there. And maybe we'll both make that leap to the next level. Together. Yeah. Maybe. So we've won the best of three series. We've come so far, but we've got so far to go is complete. We're going to go and 
upgrade our attributes with the points we've got. But while we're doing that, if you're enjoying this series of any content on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. A like on the episodes does help as well. And ring the bell, just so you don't miss any any upload. That's always an important one. But there we are. That is us done for today. Laura Kinney, a nice victory in a best of three series. And we'll see you next time for more WWE 2K22 My Rise.